everybody, it's your boy Defo. We back and we live. Y'all already know for episode 20. You know, we had one of the funniest comedians in the city of Philadelphia on the Dev Hall show today. You know, Chichia, you know, um, this guy um, reminds me of Bernie Mac. You know, I was watching his videos since, damn, I want to say like 2016 before he got booked, man. He was um, making a lot of people laugh, man. Internet sensation. Um, I feel as though Instagram sensation um, in the city getting over like 30,000 views per video. Um, a lot of followers, everybody in their mom got a lot of followers now, but as far as people uh, making people laugh, um, a lot of people can't do that on a daily basis. And I feel as though, you know, he's one of the top comedians in the city of Philly. I'm gonna get an idea um, of what made him start, you know, being a comedian, um, who's his favorite comedian, uh, what he's doing in 2019, shows, things in that sort. And also what differentiates himself from other comedians. You know, on the Dev Hall Show, episode 20. Stay tuned. Y'all might laugh, y'all might not. You already know it's your boy! Tail Mac! Backpack Fit Gat and all that! Hook it wrong with you! Today, we get some of bodies lit! All 2019 shit! Hook it wrong with you! You know what I'm saying? We gon' work out that FUPA area. You know what I'm saying? We gon' start them jacks. One, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. nine one. And that's one. And that's just one. Give it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that's two. How they roll with you? We back. You know, we got a special guest, man. You know, uh, he remind me of one of my favorite comedians, man. You know, my favorite, one of my favorite comedians, Bernie Mac, yeah. And um, I don't know if he heard the similarities or nothing like that, but uh, we got your chin in the building, man. What's up, bro? How you doing, man? I'm good, man. You already know it's your boy, Chin Mac, backpack, fat, gat, and all that. <laughs> fuck is wrong with you? That's my name. I don't know what you talking about. What up, my baby? What <laughs> the fuck is wrong with you, man? You yeah, in the building, man. You know, you a uh, uh, Instagram sensation, man, uh, from Philly, man. And, uh, I just want to let you know, man, um, you got a lot of people like myself that watch your videos in the deli. You know, you just recently just dropped the video um, speaking on Ramadan, Chill, yo. speaking on uh, <laughs> Scepter, speaking on PPA, you know, yo, you know, a lot of shit, man. But um, I just want to know what made you decide to like come up with these videos? Listen, hard work and dedication, determination. Uh -huh. Same, no, I'm bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's real. That's real. No, that was totally bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, right? I was doing videos forever. Mm -hmm. As long as anybody. Mm -hmm. Shit was just corny. Shit was trash. So I was like, man, fuck it. Right. Everybody say I'm funny, except the internet. Mm -hmm. Nobody watching me. I'm going to say what I want, when I want, how I want. Right. Ain't nobody watch, I'm getting a half a view. Like, right, 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 right. So, like nobody watch it. Like, so I'm gonna to talk to myself. As soon as I do it, <laughs> like day one. As soon as I said fuck it, I don't even care if nobody watch it. But when you was trying, you shit wasn't getting work. shit ain't work at all. Now when you start getting like, I wanna say like thousands of views, like but you was like, yo, I can do something with this shit. Like mm. oh no, you was like That shit was like, whoa, that's it? That's what y'all want? I do this every day. I talk shit about people every single day. Right. Like Wendy Williams. <laughs> right. I'm, I'm Wendell Wendy Williams. Like, whatever. <laughs> right, right, but, right. But I was just like, I just do this. I was like, this all y'all want? This is easy. Now, you know you had to run um, before you got booked, man. Sure. Like, when I say you had to run, man, like, you was on the last. I feel as though, to be honest with you, um, I feel as though you was like one of the top comedians, and I feel like you still is one of the top comedians, but like, you was noticed as one of the top comedians at that time. You know, people was like, yo. The most seen. Well, most seen on the gram as well. But like, when I say one of the most popular, a lot of people was like, yo, the boy that be yelling a lot. Right. You know, That's things what... in that sort. And then I remember one video, you was yelling so much, you lost your voice. <laughs> you feel me? Like, now, uh, by you yelling and shit like that, like, is there any type of comedian or any comedian that inspires Chill, you? Chill, you just said, though. You know that's my guy. Now, I'm gonna shout, you know, man, you know, you, you, people have similarities, but they don't notice it. What? Like, that's my man, honey. Word. Man. Like, do you feel like he's the funniest of them all? Or? He, in my eyes, he's the funniest of them all. Right. I can watch this shit and laugh a thousand times. I can watch some people should not laugh at all. Right. And just be stone faced. But I just feel like Bernie the best. 
Mm-hmm. No, he's the funniest to me, but I, don't, I feel like Dave Chappelle is the best. Yeah, I got yeah, Dave Chappelle. He's uh, the best. Right, right. Like, in t- structure and a joke, mm-hmm. Dave Chappelle is the best. Now speaking, of, now, speaking of structure and a joke, um, have you had any shows? Or I got a show yeah, in a couple days. 17, whatever that is. That's probably Saturday. Yeah, that's tomorrow. That, that's tomorrow? Don't, <laughs> don't say that's tomorrow. <laughs> 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 no, if I'm not mistaken, today's 16th, right? Like, Tomorrow's the 17th? Like, it's 36 Oh, the day is 7th? Oh, wow, I think on somebody's stage tomorrow, dude. Don't <laughs> <laughs> yeah. see me. Nah, right. All right, so you know the location where we at? Uh, TLO. Okay. I believe. All right, I know that's it. I know that's it. That's on um, uh, Cecil B. Right, Cecil B, right. Right, 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 right. right. Most definitely. Now, yeah, um, funniest in Philly. Now, uh, you were funniest in Philly. Now, y'all had some skits, man, back in the day. Do y'all have any, like, upcoming work I got coming, going on? Oh, that boy crazy. <laughs> I don't know what he eat. Or Jets and shit today. The next day I see him, I'm like, damn. Right. Well, I don't know. I'm working on my own shit. I can't speak for him. But together, I don't know. We just, we still trying to figure it out. And I think that one, um, that Metro PCS story. The cricket job. Oh, it was a cricket job mm-hmm. when you said his name or he said your name. No, or something I said like that. you pulled the I, bandana off my face. Yeah, I think y'all should have continued to keep going after that. I think, um, I think y'all would have been like a great um, Tanner, to be honest with you. Right. I feel as though y'all could still be a great right. Tanner. He feel like it's played out. With he, the skits? Yeah, he feel like it's done up. He don't, he don't even like to do skits no more. Right. I can't tell him, yo, no skits. No, Fuck it. I'm going to do a skit. That's a major Sorry, Rob. <laughs> I'm going to do my shit. No, that's a major face. So what differentiates yourself um, as far as you being um, a comedian in the city versus a lot of people in the city being a comedian? Or a couple people in the city being a comedian? What makes me different? I do not give a fuck. <laughs> that's just it. What people won't say, I will say. Right. And that's just it. And then, like the Ramadan video. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I wanted nobody to nobody like, wanna say nothing like that. Yeah, exactly. Now, um, I wanted to uh, touch on that topic. You know, it is Ramadan right now. Right. You know, um, and this is something that uh, my brother's Muslim, and I had I was speaking to him today. I was like, Yo, you see the uh, bull I'm uh, posting on my page? He was like, Yeah, that shit was funny. And I was like, Yo, now you Muslim. And you said what's funny. He said, yeah. He, he said, if you know your shit within, you ain't got to, like, express your anger or anything. I said, why the fuck is so many people sensitive nowadays? You had people like Eddie Murphy speaking on gays. Remember that? I don't remember people, like, <sighs> being in outrage about that. What's he spoke on a religion. Now, you know, he said, he also mentioned two different religions. He said Christian and also, you know, uh, Muslim. I don't understand why people really got... Bend out of shape over there, but you don't give a fuck. Yeah, I, I don't know why they got because I said something. This, this, that's, that's holy grail. Don't touch the what? That's like, I don't know. I can't even really explain. Mm-hmm. Like pulling this, the sword out. This, this <laughs> like, oh my god, they did it. Right, right, right. Yeah, I did it. Like, but I don't care. That's why. But you know what? You still gonna have people looking for your next skit. Or exactly. Your next that's what happens. That's right. So any controversy is like good controversy. You're like, oh my god, let me see what this nigga say next. That's all I. That's all I want. You know, see what I'm saying. Like. Now, when people um, rank comedians in the city, right? <clears throat> I always see Tiz name. Number one. I always see Tiz name. I know he works. He's he number works. one. He works. And is that in your opinion? He's number one. Right, and that's respect. That's respect. You see, uh, um, what's his name? Rich up there. I can't get no. If it's anything at the Tiz, I do not care. <laughs> now I respect it. That's just it. Now I respect it. Now, why Tiz though? Because I I, I watch them. Mm, I like study that. comedy. I don't just talk shit. I really, I really study comedy. I, I know what make people laugh. I know what don't. I try to figure it out. I don't know everything. I just like, a couple of years ago, I just fucked up at a show. <laughs> I was telling good jokes. They was not laughing. Like, okay, this is not the right crowd. Right, right, right. But I seen to, I see this nigga can act. Mm. He can motherfucking do stand up. He can grind you right the fuck up to dust. I seen all this shit. Like, oh my God, he's right. the goat. Well, that's that's how much right there. Um, I actually remember he was uh in Asia Star video. That's what I'm saying. A lot of people don't even remember Asia Star, but uh, he was in Asia Star and, videos. And, and this, um, I'm sorry, I'm gonna control. You know, this one, you know, he the goat. Where is anybody that was in Entourage? That was in Asia Star. That's a good question. So once that's answer do you branch it off to doing music videos and things and that sort so um i want to say something like what's your thoughts on kevin hart versus like 
Mike Capps versus like Cat Williams as far as like who's the most relevant comedian. Oh, we know who the most relevant comedian is. Well, well it's Kevin, but the funniest comedian. Bernie Mac. No, I mean, like, <laughs> I mean, as far as I mean, as far as like this, like current, like this relevant right now. I don't know, cause I watch all types of bullshit. You, since you say you study um, comedy, like I always had this. Um, <clears throat> I actually have a pleasure to talk to the comedian. I always have this conversation with my guys. I'm like, yo, I feel like Kevin Hart is funny based off family. I feel like off his stories of what he did. Exactly. I feel like Mike Epps. Situational. Think, yeah, he can bring, He can make you feel like. Hey, I've been through that shit before too. Right. Now, I feel like Dave Chappelle, Bernie Mac, I feel like they freestyle. They can freestyle. No, they cannot. They you don't get, think so? They will get booed. When I say up. freestyle, I mean when I say freestyle, I mean like they can touch you on different topics versus Because they already wrote jokes down for them topics. They never go up there and freestyle. Ever. And that's not even something a comedian should tell you. But if you go up there and freestyle, you will get booed. Unless you know Unless that. Jesus is there. Right. Or a law. One or another. All right, all right, check this out. Now I'm gonna flip this. I'm gonna flip this though. If you ever watch the roast, right? They freestyle. They ain't right A roast like, for example, they have a, a Shaquille O'Neal roast. A what? You never seen it? They are not freestyling. Are you crazy? They might so come you mean there, tell me they have they water? Might, they right, might come there with a fucking paper in their hand. Right. And say all them jokes on that paper. Oh no. Go ahead and look back. Nah, I'm, I'm just thinking about when. And if they don't, guess best believe it's a teleprompter. Okay, perfect. I'm Dead in their face. Remember, I don't know if you remember when Jamie Foxx, he was roasting this one guy. I know. Oh my was, God. That, that was there. That was there. That's not a freestyle. Come on. Oh yeah, he, he murdered him. That's a freestyle. He murdered him. That's a freestyle. But that wasn't Jamie Foxx's time. No, you're right. 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 No, of no, course right. they get their shit in, woo -woo, but mm -hmm. they know what they're going to say when they go up there. Of course, you're not going to go up there like, if I'm coming to talk shit about you, oh, best believe, I'm, put, I'm bringing my, my fucking sword and axe. Right. Chopping you the fuck down. Right. You might please somebody come off the stage. Right, right, right. He's talking about my mom, my kids and shit. Now, have you reached out to like Punchline and like all these different bigger venues for like um like Helium? The reason I'm at saying these spots, man, I really believe you got the talent for this shit, yo. Like I've been to different comedian, you know, I've been to different um, comedy clubs. I've been to um the Laugh House when they was at South Street. Mm -hmm. I've been to Punchline, I've been to Helium, you know, um, and I be seeing a lot of different comedians. Like you got the boy, I think his name Cleon or something from Baltimore. When I that boy or something. You know, people paying to see him, and they watching him on the gram. You getting views as much as I, I feel like you can do the same type of time. You know, do the same shit. You know, so are you reaching out to those type of people or this? That's why I reached out to them type clubs because <clears throat> I don't have, have white based jokes. Like, but yeah. they ain't gonna feel that. I tell my nigga jokes, they ain't gonna know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Boo, nigga. <laughs> now, I feel like, so, do you feel like that's a, a way to switch it up, or are you just gonna? Yeah, I'm gonna try. It? I'm done. What you think? I need them white people. Right. Oh, I'm, I'm win. And you just said it, Dave Chappelle the best. He he got that shit. He got the right audience. He didn't give a fuck about the black crowd, to be honest with you. He said, and when he look at his audience, he see a lot of white a white white people there. He don't see that many black people there. Cause they, cause he not telling black based jokes. Black people can't really relate. Unless you watch the Dave Chappelle show. I mean the Chappelle show. I don't know why I said Dave Chappelle show, but well, the Chappelle show. Um, <clears throat> I just wanted to ask you a few more questions, and then we can, you know, you do whatever you want. What's <laughs> your show? That's what I'm gonna ask my turn. You want me to take over? Yeah, yeah. You want me and my boots yeah, to take yeah, over this yeah, motherfucker? Yeah, do you think, man? What the fuck is wrong with you? You think cutting grass in your boots today, Chill, man? Chill, yo. My boots been through hell. All right, well, it's definitely. Um, I just wanted to know, uh, like, what's your thoughts on, like, everything that's going on around the world now? We got this, uh, this shit that happened with Alabama, you know, the abortion thing. Bro, oh, I don't know. I don't know if you heard about I that. I don't even know what's going on in Alabama. You don't. Zoom this camera right in my yeah, face yeah, yeah, yeah. and tell them yeah. I don't know uh -huh. what's going on in Alabama. Oh, uh, shit. I can't even figure out what's going on in my own home. <laughs> he told us I'm Alabama. <laughs> what is wrong with this man? Oh, my God. But what's going on there? I um, mean, Alabama, uh, let me wipe this smile off my face and shit. In Alabama, uh, these 25 white guys and shit, Republicans, they decided to um, pass I read a that. bill. Yeah, and, um, or the lady, the governor, she signed a bill where, you know, people can't get an abortion Take in Alabama. Up. Oh, yeah, all right. So but check this out. You get an abortion in Alabama, right? The doctors can serve up to 99 years in prison. 
and also I ain't read that for, for doing an abortion. And also, you can get 10 years just to attempt to do an abortion. You feel me? So that's also including people that get raped and also people that are in sex, have incest sex with their family. Um, so I just wanted to know your thoughts on that. Give me one second. No, like, like me personally, I feel like this shit fucked up. You know, um, it's to a point where it's like, how the hell are you going to tell a woman what the hell to do with her body? Yeah, don't get me wrong. I hate to say it like this. I don't want to say the wrong shit, but y'all know I'm live and direct. Right. A lot of guys, you know. <clears throat> ain't shit. Don't keep it up. Hey, we ain't shit. We had sex knowing we ain't supposed to be. We, had, we supposed to have a condom and shit. Yeah. We slip up and shit through some old, all right, can your mom help us pay for the abortion? Like, right. no. All right. <laughs> no, no, that's real shit. That's, that's, that's real shit. And now it's gonna be to a point where, you know, people are gonna have to be forced to have a child. You know, it's to a point I would just read. Cut you off. So you said Alabama. Yeah, Alabama. What do you think? So okay, if you get pregnant in Alabama, mm -hmm. my advice: you carry your ass to Georgia, Florida, Mississippi, or Tennessee. Uh -huh. Get that shit cut out. <laughs> Yo, what is wrong with you if you don't want it? If you no, want it, I'm no, saying, but it. it's to a point where they, it's not just going to be in Alabama. Um, it's, it's starting to be other states. Um, I believe they're starting to clamp down as well. Um, Missouri and Louisiana as well. So it's to a point where I don't know what the hell is going on in this world. You know, it's like 11 year old that's pregnant. No, she can get an abortion. No, can't get an abortion. Damn. Like it's like what the fuck? Like it's like you're like what are you doing? You feel me? Now it's like, all right, your plan A is to never no, use your plan B. Now you got to use the plan B. Like it's like, but is that corny. is that considered, you know, killing? The you say child? it like that, man. That's corny. Eleven year old pregnant. No, real. That's real. And, and it's like, but well, damn, now you really gonna be like, strap the fuck up, like for real, for real, like really strap up, like. I'm throwing the whole dick away. <laughs> 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 no. Oh, the old dick away. Ah! No. <laughs> we should throw some social media, dog. Social media is the best thing ever made. I thank Mark mm. Zuckerberg and everybody who ever made a social media website from Tom from Facebook to the nigga from Black Planet. Everything. Thank you. Must be all that shit, right? Tom, right? He said thank you. Now, a lot of people feel as though social media is fucking people up mentally, man. What you say to that? Probably is. You got nothing to do with me. What I'm saying is, <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying is, I'm so grateful. I should have been making videos because I've been making videos. Right. I can go, I can go back to so many videos. They stole, they took videos off my YouTube. I had a video where I jumped and hit my head on the ceiling. Shit was the crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so what? I was test, testing out my bunnies because I used to play basketball, mm -hmm. but I didn't know I was really a comedian. I jumped, boom! That shit was the craziest shit ever. Deleted that from YouTube. I've been making videos though. I should have been using internet more though. Nobody was doing that shit though, but Soldier Boy. So what video would you say is your most notable, noticeable, um, or notable video? In Philly, except though. But in the hey, which one? Is the day pass one or the the the? the I don't know. They both one? they both be like. Sometimes I be thinking they talking about the day pass, and they be talking about the other joint, the strike joint. I think they talking about the strike joint. They talking about the day pass. So I just give them both. I think the most relatable one to me, for me, was the PPA drum. See, yeah. I never heard that. I never heard that said the most relatable. Like, but just not what you just asked. You just asked the most, like, I guess, notable. I guess most known. No, yeah, yeah, it's most known. But I like, would say the perks. Hmm. Peter Pan pick and perk and pussy popping, motherfucker. That shit got like 60 million views. You have anybody reach out to you as far as. Matter of like, fact, I'm lying. The weather did more than that. Which weather? How the fuck is 25 degrees, but it feel like 10? Right, 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 right. You were saying something about like the wind chill and the feel yeah, like such and such. Yeah, yeah. John's, man. I remember that, John. Now, have you had anybody reach out after these views? Like, has it, have it, when any of your videos reached the right person? Where they're like, yo, come on, man, I gotta, I gotta sit down and talk to you, man. Shit like that, or you really don't wanna discuss that, okay? I don't know. I wish, I wish that nigga do. If you know who I am. <laughs> <laughs> Reach the fuck out, nigga. I'm drowning like a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> hey, most definitely. But uh, um, you have anything um, you working in within the near, in the near future? Yeah, I'm trying to make a talk show. 
I shouldn't be telling you all my cars, but I yell, I don't give a fuck, because you ain't going to stop me. Mm -hmm. On your talk show, a sitcom, a reality show, you want to be a part? Most definitely, we can talk about it, yeah. You already know, I'm you know, I'm in my bag. Right? Yeah, you now with the talk show, what is it going to be consistent of? Talking yeah, shit. Me, my, my shit, but like... Let me ask you this, you ever think about like, I was just talking to my team not too long ago about a comedy show, right? And it's so funny that you bring up, you know, you better have a talk show. <clears throat> you ever think about having like a comedy show? Like you actually just like interviewing or just talking with different comedians? Y'all really just showing your personality? Or that shit didn't even like register? No, that, I mean, egos getting away. Niggas on the, oh, how much you give with me? How much you give with me? My nigga, right. $15. <laughs> 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 no, you gonna smoke with me? Like, what do you want? I'm not fucking rich. <laughs> <laughs> no, I respect it. I respect it. But, uh, you gotta make up your own nigga to talk to. Not. <laughs> Introducing my friend. Yeah. How you know? That's <laughs> no, that's true. People be doing that on the crib. I be noticing that, man. Speaking of promo, what's your thoughts on promo, man? You had put something up saying I'm not gonna do no damn. Promo. I was lying like a bitch. For five dollars, like. I ain't doing a five dollar promo, but hit me up. I promote like a motherfucker. I ain't no promoter though. All right. So just know if you want. Me to yell and scream. It's gonna cost you. <laughs> I'm not no cheap hoe. Right. I'm not no little forty dollars, sixty dollars special motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? You gonna take me out to eat, <laughs> to the movies, <laughs> put some gas in the car, and then you get the pussy. <laughs> yeah, that's funny as shit. Yeah, that's hilarious. But um, I really appreciate you stopping by the Dev Hall. I appreciate you know, having me. You know, it's a lot of people that know who you are. You know, um, so how do you pronounce it? Is it like chichi or like ch You just said it perfectly. All right, I just, just like whole when you used to say it. Like chichi. Right. That's all it is. That's okay. where I stole it from. Well, there you go. The Dev Hall Show, chichi. You know, episode 20. We already got this shit in the bag. Y'all know how that shit go.